Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the tag video and I saw this at my friend Debbie's channel. I will leave her up here and down in the description. This is a tag video that is called the part-time YouTuber tag. And this is created by Monica AP. I will also leave her down in the description. And this is a tag with eight questions that is about the life you live outside of YouTube. And I thought that was going to be fun to do. So yeah, I don't know if this is going to take long or not, so we just get started. So question number one. What is your main gig? Do you work full time? Are you a student? A parent? Spill the beans. And I have a full time job outside of YouTube. I work uh, on a warehouse, in a warehouse, a food chain warehouse, and I work as a consignee. I think it's called in Swedish. It is godsmottagare. So I. I take care of the things that come into the warehouse. So I work at an office that is located in the warehouse. And I work Monday to Friday. I start at 6 a.m. and I am off work. My schedule ends half past two. I never go home half past two, but that's when I should go home. So yeah. That is what I do. Question number two. What made you want to start YouTube? And I don't really know. I started my YouTube channel back in 2014. I started doing videos on Swedish, on Swedish, in Swedish. And I went over to English in August 2018, I think. And I just, I watched so much YouTube and I wanted to do it myself and I wanted to play with makeup and I want to talk with people that has the same interest in me and also I just think it was a fun idea so I started and now here I am and I like it so I think it was just mostly because I wanted to do makeup and I thought it it looked so fun to do YouTube so I was like I'm going to do that Question number three, what is your channel about? Do you stick to one niche or do you have do you cover a few? And now my niche is makeup. I do a lot of things like inside the makeup, but my main focus is makeup. I do I would not say that I do tutorials, but I do my makeup in front of the camera, but I do palette bingos, free palettes one, free palettes one look. <laughs> Free looks one palette and other things like that and first impressions and my niche is absolutely makeup. Question number four. Did you always know YouTube would be a side gig or did you slash do you ever want to be a full-time YouTuber? And some days I am so tired of my my work, my full-time, my normal job that I am like, I just want to be home and to like record and play with makeup all day. But at the same time, no. I would never want to have YouTube as a job because I know that I'm not going to be inspired and motivated all the time. And YouTube is my safe place and my fun place and my where I can do, where I can be creative and I don't want to push that. Like if I would have this as a full-time job, I have to put out a certain amount of videos to be able to make money off it. And I don't want to put out videos if I don't feel like it. I don't want to push myself so far that I maybe don't think it's fun anymore. So I would not want to have YouTube as a full-time job. Maybe like a part-time job and go down in hours on my normal work. But no, I would not want YouTube because I don't want it to be... I don't want to be lying to the income of a creative thing because I know that my creativity it's not always going to be on top. 
So no, I would not want this as a full-time job. Question number five. What is your schedule like? When do you film? When do you edit? And I try to put up videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday in my time. I know that I put up so early in the morning Swedish time so for you who live maybe in US you see it like Sunday Tuesday Thursday and Saturday but in my time it is Monday Wednesday Friday and Sunday and I try to do four videos a week sometimes it's only three videos sometimes it's one video sometimes it's none but i'm trying to do four videos a week just because i think it's fun and i know i want to keep this going so i need to put up videos at certain speed and putting up a video is like my chance to interact with you and i want to do it because some of you I talk to a lot and this is like, it's hard to explain, but I try to put up four videos a week. Question number six, how do you keep your YouTube channel organized? Do you plan, oh yeah, when do I add it as well? I try to add it the day after, so I maybe try to film, yeah this was also, when do you film? <laughs> I wasn't done with that question. When do I film? I try to film during the weekdays uh, and edit on the weekdays as well so I have the weekend free. It doesn't always end up like that because I know that if I'm going to do something it is almost always on a weekend because I have friends that live far apart, my family doesn't live here and I want to do things with my boyfriend and meet up a friend or something. So I try to record on weekdays. It working kinda good uh, and then I maybe try to do it like Monday Wednesday and Thursday or Monday, Tuesday. Today is Thursday. Um, I try to at least film on, not on Mondays because the, then I don't have the time, but the other days I try to film and I try to film like three times a week. And I try to film two videos at the same time. Now I haven't been done that because I have been so low on energy. So it's hard for me to like come home from work and sit down and do my makeup in time to be able to film two videos after each other but I'm trying to get up in speed again so yeah and when do I edit? I edit sometimes the same day I film it depends how if I have already pre-record things my dr dream with this would be to film maybe three Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and edit on Saturday and Sundays because I always wake up early under my boyfriend so I can sit and edit when he is still asleep and for me to edit it doesn't take a long time at all if it shows so that is what I'm trying to do but now it's like I have to edit the video I recorded before this now because this that video is supposed to go up tomorrow so yeah I'm not in the good schedule because I have been sick I have been away I have yeah it's not good right now um, and when do you edit yeah when I have time question number six how do you keep your YouTube channel organized do you plan videos ahead or just film when you feel like it yeah I suck at planning <laughs> like old planning um, I have some videos that is going to come up certain times, like my Zodiac series is supposed to be up maybe around between 15 and the 20th, 20? in the middle of the month at least, and my favorite videos 
in the beginning of the new month but other than that I don't have any planned videos but I'm trying at least to have maybe not two palette bingos after each other or not two first impressions after each other so yeah that is like the only planning I'm doing and I feel like I'm not a good person to do a collab with because when I'm collabing with people and they ask like when can you put up and I am like whenever because I don't have anything planned so yeah but I at least try to not do two similar videos in a row uh, and I do record videos uh, do you plan videos ahead or just film what you feel like? I do what I feel like. Right now I'm doing my Kaleidos series and I'm trying to really keep up with this. And not like do two parts and then the last four parts is like in half a year. And I am so bad at that. I just remember that my decluttering series is just like ended with part two. Um, so yeah, I all, I do film what I feel like, but I need to be better to do. If I start something, I need to end it. But it's just, right now I do what I feel like. It doesn't feel like I'm good at answering things like this. Okay, so question number seven. How do you feel about sponsored videos on YouTube? Have you, would you ever do one on your channel? And I understand that people do sponsored videos and I have nothing against them if the sponsored video is fitting like the channel. Some Swedish YouTubers or a lot of Swedish YouTubers did like sponsored videos with, I don't know if it was Samsung or Huawei, how do you even pronounce that? Um, and it's like the best phone ever and then like a week later they use their iPhone again and I'm like e it was so good so you need to go back to your iPhone that I don't like and but if one channel that I am following she has two kids and she do like sponsored videos with maybe a store that sells kid kid clothes for kids and some and stuff like that and things that are suitable for family and that I have nothing against because it feels like she's really doing a sponsored video with something she likes but I can't stand when people do a sponsored videos only for the money and you can clearly see that they are not going to use this in their day-to-day -day life that I don't like but other than that I have nothing against sponsored videos and if I would ever do it yes if it is something that I like and if I have the opportunity to say whatever I want I would never have a brand to tell me what to do because I am not relying on the income of my YouTube channel so I don't have to have the sponsored video but if a company would reach out to me and would want to sponsor me and if I stand behind it and they like say whatever you want then I can do it but other than that no. Okay the last question and I think this is longer than I expected. Uh, what do you think is the biggest challenge of doing YouTube part time? And it is having the time to do it. It's hard because you still if you have a full-time job you have your job and then you have your family and taking care of a home and then you have like one extra job even though it is maybe a hobby but it is the time that is it's hard because you do other things and yeah i think that was all i think this was a fun tag and don't forget to check out the creator of this tag and also debbie and if you want to do this tag do it and i will leave all the questions down in the description and i think this is fun to do a 
tag that doesn't surround makeup even though I talk about makeup and makeup is my thing here on YouTube I like to talk about other things as well sometimes so yeah I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next time next time in the next one bye